I installed KLCOS on my Xiaomi phone, and honestly, it's been awesome GSI ROM that runs perfectly on my phone. But what really makes this special is that as a GSI ROM, you can flash it on almost any modern Android device that supports Project Treble. Same as just like I install, it's completely clean with no bloatware or any of that extra junk. Here's the cool part. Even though it's a GSI ROM, you still get all the important features from a stock ROM. We're talking Qualcomm optimizations, Xiaomi's special touches, and a ton of ways to customize things. Everything is there for you to dig into and tweak exactly how you like, and that goes way beyond just the looks and smooth performance. It also pulls off some clever tricks under the hood. Imagine getting high FPS in all your games, having your banking apps work without a hitch, and smoothly passing play integrity checks. So you get this clean, almost pure Android experience, but with some seriously handy upgrades baked right in. It's honestly one of the best ways to give your phone a total refresh. Now, before we get started, the most important thing is to make sure you've backed up all your data. Don't skip this part. Now, let's get into the installation process. First things first, we need to enable USB debugging. But to do that, we'll need to unlock developer options on the phone. Head over to your phone settings and find the About Phone section. Once you're there, look for the build number and tap on it seven times in a row. After the seventh tap, you'll see a message pop up saying you're now a developer. Now go back to your main system settings. You'll notice Developer Options has appeared in the menu. Open that up. Inside Developer Options, check if your bootloader is unlocked. If it's not, don't worry. I've got detailed videos on my channel showing exactly how to unlock it. Once you've confirmed that, find USB debugging and turn it on. Okay, next step. Now to boot your phone into fastboot mode, turn off the phone and as soon as the screen goes black, press the power and volume down buttons simultaneously until fastboot mode screen appears with the distinctive bunny logo or fastboot text. Open whatever browser you prefer on your computer and search for your device's firmware. For me, that's the POCOF4. In the search results, go to the official website and find your region-specific Fastboot firmware. This part's important because the VB meta file only comes in the Fastboot firmware package and download it by following the same steps as mine. And next, you have to download platform tools. Complete this also by following these steps. Now, next search for 15 second ADB installer and download it by following the same steps. I have provided the direct download link of all these files and tools in the descriptions. Now, you have to extract all these files one by one. I will do these steps quickly because it takes time. After the extraction is complete, open the Platform Tools folder, search in the upper talk bar CMD. By doing this, your command prompt will open. After the command prompt opens, 
Connect your phone to the PC via a high quality USB cable. Now let's check whether the phone is connected to Fastboot or not. For that, you have to type the command Fastboot devices and as soon as this command is run, the serial number of the phone will be displayed, which means your phone is properly connected to Fastboot. Now the next command you have to type is Fastboot Reboot Fastboot. This command sometimes shows error, but never mind type the same command again. This will make the phone enter fastboot D mode so that all the files can be installed easily. Quick note though, not all phones support fastboot D mode. If your phone just restarts normally after this command, that's fine. Just continue using regular fastboot mode instead. Run fastboot devices again to double check the connection. If you see the serial numbers, you're connected and ready to go. Now, type this command in fastboot flash system and then drag and drop that KLC ROM file. Hit enter. Sorry, I got an error. First, we need to type this command fastboot delete logical partition product underscore A. Once finished, you will have to type the same command again, fastboot flash system, and then drag and drop that KLC ROM file. Hit enter. This time, your installation will start. It may take some time, so please be patient and let it complete the installation. Type fastboot flash VB meta with space. Drag and drop VB meta.img file from extracted firmware folder into command prompt, then press enter. Wait for successful completion message. If that flashed successfully, now you have to type the next command fastboot erase metadata. Once this is finished, we just need to wipe the user data, so run this command fastboot erase user data and press enter. After that's done, boot your phone back into the system fastboot reboot, and that's it. Your phone should now boot up successfully with KLC OS installed and ready to go. If this video helped you out, hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed to the channel for more tutorials like this. All download links are provided in video description. Thanks for watching.